Hello YouTubers, in this video we are going to run two stepper motors using single microcontroller with the help of free autos. With the free autos it will be very easy to run the blocking mode delay loops very easily. I will show how to do it. To learn free autos I have made a simple LED blink program it is available somewhere here. The wiring diagram is here. You can pause the video and see. I will zoom it and show you. I have opened the QIDE. If anybody doesn't know how to install QIDE, I have made a separate video. It's available here. We can continue. Click System Core. Click Sys. For the debug, select Serial Wire. Also, for the time-based source, instead of Cystic, we need to change, F, change to a timer. I am going to select to timer 3. Click RCC. For the high-speed clock, select a crystal ceramic resonator. Click pin out of uh, clock configuration. And in this area, change this to 72, enter. Click OK. When this one finish, we can click the pin out on configuration again. Done. Now click middleware. For the free autos, select it. Uh, interface, change it to V1. And we make it bigger. Select advanced setting and use new lib and make it enabled. Now for the task and queues, select this one, task and queues. There is a default task, double click and change this to motor one. And also the uh, priority is normal. Entry function is start motor one. Okay. Add another task using this button. Motor 2. And uh, priority normal. And start motor 2. Okay. Now for the timers, for the microsecond delay for the motor, we click uh, timers, select TIM1 and make it smaller a little bit. For the clock source, internal clock, prescaler 71, enter. And also timer 2, clock source, internal clock, prescaler 71, enter. Now for the motor output pin, PA1 to PA6 output. I do one by one quickly. Finally, output. So PA1 to PA6, all of them are output. That's all the sitting. We can click save. In the description below of this video, I have provided a website link. I have provided the code there. We can copy and paste. And this is the one. When you go below, the diagram is here. Q by D setting is here. Just read through. If you miss anything, make sure all are correct. There are a lot of setting. The, this is the one we just done. For the code, user code begin zero. We copy from here. Until user code end zero that's here copy it go to user code begin zero that's here we paste it and user code begin two we start the timer we copy and paste these two lines that's here 
we paste it. Now, when normally we come here and we do the loop here, but now there are two loops. It doesn't come to this loop. There are two loops below all the way down here. It's a motor one loop and below motor two loop here. So there we're going to put the code for the motor one loop. This is the forever loop. We copy from here until here. Copy it. We delete this one and we paste it. For the motor 2, there is another forever loop. We copy from here until here. Copy. And we delete the OS delay and we paste it. Now we can save. What happening is here, we are using OS delay instead of HAL delay, we are using OS delay. These are the steps we are taking for the motor. I have provided the link here for the each motor I have done separately. If you watch that video, it, it will be more clear how to do the motor coding for this motor, motor number two and also motor number one. This is the combined one. Please watch this video, these two video, it will, you will understand. Now we can upload the code. And before uploading, there's one more thing. We use OS delay instead of HAL delay. Also, we can minimize this delay because in here, in the steps, we are using micro delay. This one also block, like a HAL delay, this will block. We have to use OS delay as much as we can, as we can. So when we have more than two motors, we need to break this delay. These, there are many delays here. Break into uh, OS delay also um, micro delay. That's a bit advanced stuff. I just leave it as it is because we are running only two motor. This is OK. Now we can upload the code. When we get to this point, click debugger. Normally I use open OCD. It will work with the original board, also with the generic boards. Click show generator option. Go below for the reset mode is software system reset. Click apply. If you haven't plugged in the ST link, plug it and click OK. All good, it's uploaded. I have uploaded the code. It is working like this. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, write down in the comment section below. I try to answer as much as I can. Thank you. Bye.